Hello everyone and welcome back to the Enter 2003 2014 Championship Mode. Today we'll be race 6. We have 30, 30 races after this race. And it's at Martinsville. Right now, I believe Jimmy Johnson will be your points leader after... I mean, it was after Auto Club. Kyle Busch did not even make a lap in that race. He blew up before we even went green. And, um... At Auto Club, an underdog, Martin Strix Jr., gets the win by saving fuel, which I've never seen an AI do, or even anyone do. Martin Strix Jr. managed to stretch out his fuel run, and Clint Boyer was inches away from getting that victory. Not really inches, but he was super close. The other one, same goes with Jr., Kyle Larson, Danica Patrick is her first career top five. Let's talk about a little bit of a disappointment for Joey Logano. He finished 19th, trying to stretch it out, but he could not make it. Same goes for Jeff Gordon. But Am I weird for thinking that if Danica Patrick had been on Haas in 2018, she might have actually had a chance to win? No. No. Hey, we're really she would have got a one uh, to if I'm being honest, what really screwed over Danica was like them sh switching over to Ford. Danica was starting to pick, put pieces back up. Then she was really good in 20, uh, 2014 and then twenty fifteen. I, I think Danica did better with the higher horsepower. I, I think because it was more yeah. similar to IndyCar. The high horsepower, high downforce was more similar to IndyCar. She was good at. Yeah, and in twenty sixteen, she actually had her best average finish. And of course, course. anyways, we're going to Martinsville. We're gonna see how this goes. This load. All right. Um, all fine. Dale and Arjuna gets his Drivers second ball of the season. To your cars. Where's the people? Oh, there they are. Anyways, okay. Let's get ready to the rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Den Marcia, no. Dale and Arjuna and Denny Hamlet share the first row. M. Hmm. Oh. Uh, sorry. Um, I, uh, was zoning out. Um, my bad. Uh, I exist. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, row two is the, the winner from last week, uh, Martin Truex, and Jeff Gordon, the greatest driver of all time. Row three is Matt Kenseth and cousin Carl Edwards. And following up with the Bush brothers, Kurt and Kyle. And we have and Jimbo and Happy Harbeck, who's not always very happy. In ULT, we're going to go to the top one. Oh, my bad. Then in a row, next we have Joey Logano and Ricky Stenhouse. we got Greg Biffle and Brad Keselowski. Row 8, you have Blood Clots himself. And, uh, oh, has he just hit that guy? Ha. <laughs> then we have Clint Boyer and Casey Kane. Then rounding up the top 20 is Austin Dillon and Ryan Newman. I got an ice cream. Awesome. Right, nice. Make sure you share it with us. Here, I got. I can do a better driver. Start your engines if you want me to. No. Do it. No. Drivers, start your engines. LT, you gotta do the flyover too. The uh, what? The flyover. You want me to bomb the racetrack? 125 lives up for today. What are some of the stuff you're, we're going to be expecting here, Ben? Tippers. Well, well, no, it's it's Martinsville. It's early in the season, so I don't expect to see anything yet. But um, I'm expecting to see some very close, exciting pieces. I'm expecting to see the outside lane be something here. Because uh, in recent years, Martinsville's had an outside that exists. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping to see a good Martinsville race here. Here we go, coming to the green flag. Dale Jr. gets a great jump. Green flag, I'm on. Looks like Denny Hamlin's clear for second as Jr.'s driving away. Back here right now. Nothing too chaotic right now. I got a good launch off the exit of the corner right there, but not good enough. Jeff Gordon, a really good driver here right now, trying to battle on the high side. We have a caution. Wait, wait. what? Oh, so, oh. It, it, we 
you have a caution. What happened? Yeah, Wait, you can try to rewind the footage <laughs> on this camera. But look at Kyle Larson. This is some way in the back right there. Pause it and then try to play Kyle Larson. Is he He's all the way in the back for some reason? Oh, that's a caution. That's a caution. He just got dumped. Everyone did a good job getting around him. Hey, look, it's my boy Morgan Shepard! Anyways, um, we are under caution right now. Nobody come down to the road. Turbane, I don't know what he was thinking. I really don't. I don't know why he dumped him. Anyways, right now, Dale Jr. Green right. got the inside line. He wasn't thinking. I mean, he, I mean, his name has Trevor Bra Brain, but... That's where his brain is. It's in his name, not his head. Dang, okay. He has some damage. Let's look, let's look at that in his point of view of what happened. Maybe this tells a different story. He's on that map, so in the Okay, so Washington got a great launch off. Ah, uh, he tried sticking his nose in there. Oh! Got the very one trying to get around that. Do. Right now, Casey Mears. Okay, Danny Roger after her first ever top five in NASCAR. 24th right now. You got AJ, 23rd. Not really been a good. He did not really have a spectacular race last week. And he, he was six in the points, I think, in the bottom of Right now, it looks like he might be going green. Next time, see what the pace car likes to do. And they're going off. Going green this time. That's like some of our. When we go, how about this? When we head lap 40, we're going to say who we think is going to win this race, the underdog, and wants to walk. Alright? Lap 40? Uh, Come on, lap 70, 75. Yeah, that's Because that'll be a good indication that was going to win. Anyways, right now, the guy that has moved up the most spots might be Kurt Bush. We didn't really even get a lap in. We don't know. Anyways, we're getting ready to go green here. We're going to look at the spectators. There is no spectators in the stand. I did not know this was 2020. Also, this And looking to the inside of Jeff Gordon right now. He's going to get around him. Oh, but Gordon got the momentum on the high side. Tires really have not gave way just yet. So the high side really has not been there, I guess. Oh, Kyle Larson's on the road. Kind of castle as well. What? I wonder why they didn't put under Did they put under cost? Oh, this is under cost. I know, did they pit under caution? Oh, Huh, I wonder why they waited for the green plug. I know Jimmy Dale Jr. right now, not really driving away from Hamlin. Hamlin's trying to reel him in a little bit. Patricia Jr. having a solid run right now. Matt Kent is having a great run after his season so far. Nine laps have been completed so far. Your top five, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Denny Hamlin, Hartrick Jr., Matt Kenseth, and Jeff Gordon. Moving through the field right now. Let's get a good example of this high side right now. Like, let's look at Glenn Porter since he's not the first car on that side. You can see Kazushi just drives right around him. Because the high side really has not kicked in yet. Oh, let's just send it in there. Let's get a little bit of word of. Hey, LT, do you have any word about what happened with Kyle Larson there? Uh, yeah, he said, uh, I'm not sure. He said under caution the car felt great, but he said once they got up to speed, the handling, I don't know. He said it felt like something was broken in there. Probably was a left rear going down. Then what about Landon Had to look Castle? more on it. Landon Castle came in. He said for some reason he was starting to push water. So I'm not sure what happened to the 40 car, but we're going to have to look at that. Lap traffic already getting ready to play a factory here. Uh, Pim, you got anything on Larson's radio? 
Um, no, it's pretty much been radio silence since it came out of the pits. Ah, uh, I'm not too happy with Trevor Bain. Yeah, well, I mean, he literally just got help. Oh. Speaking of Trevor Bain, let's try to find out. Oh my god, to me, yo. Um, Trevor Bain right now is getting ready to get passed by Casey Mears. That is enough. Uh, never mind. Okay, now the highest guy is starting to kick in. Bain almost cleared him. That's really rolling well now. Here, oh, AJ, oh, we're coming on his bump right there, but let's get back up here. Oh my god! He just got, oh, he's looking to the inside of Hamlin now. Ah, oh, this is starting to get ugly. We might have our next caution here. Lap traffic, you Oh, man, he's gonna keep him up right next to Morgan Shepard. I think Larson might have an issue. I mean, even with the spin, he doesn't have that much damage, but he's just pretty slow. I think he's just trapped behind everyone else. I don't know. I mean, Dell Jr. got around him. I know it's a lead lap car, but Larson just seems very slow. I mean, you got David Gillen right in front of him, dude. Yeah, but, oh, yes, this is starting to become a big... Oh, my spectacular. goodness. Everyone's now up here. Oh, Brian Vicker. Nice save there. This is really checking up the leaders. Yeah, I think even though it's early in the race, it's got to be a little frustrating to get stuck behind lap traffic this early. I don't know why Junior's not just taking it through behind. I mean, I guess Junior doesn't want to wreck anything because it's him, as you know, from us racing here, it's really easy to push the radiator in and really kill the car. Yeah, right now, okay. Now, Reed Sorensen now getting around David Gillen, which is probably what Junior's trying to get him. Get him in the dude, you give him around David Gillen, then he can pass him. Oh, Larson. three wide! Oh, three three wide. wide. That's not gonna work, no, it will. Gillen's gonna pull out of the way here, and now Junior's gonna. Oh, Soren. No, he's not. He's gonna try to run that really high groove, but he ain't gonna gain anything from it. Mac has now up to second, now getting around Reed Sorensen. Carl Edwards in third, Jimmy Johnson fourth, and Kyle Bush fifth. Uh, Gordon and Kurt getting screwed right now. Major traffic jam back there. Oh my god. Three wide. Oh, yeah, we might get another wreck here soon. I don't really see why anyone's being this aggressive on lap 20 of the race. Yeah, still a long ways to oh, go. Oh, he just put him. Yeah, what you got to say about this, Pim? Or Jake, what you guys got to say about this? This is getting interesting by the moment. I mean, with what? With Gordon moving Hamlin out of the way, that's a little, a little scary. Gordon might not be happy with any Hamlin right now. Okay, so look at this. When Kyle Larson got around those lap cars, now look at this. He's running the fourth passes right now. He's, he's got to catch that 88 car if you want to get back on the lead lap. I don't think anyone other than Matt Kenzie can catch him. Let's look at here. You got Timmy Hill making his first start this season. Honestly, running pretty well. I mean, he's slowing off the pace, but he's kept the car clean. Doesn't seem like he's too beaten up. Bobby Labonte right now. I mean, 36th right now. Let's get a little bit up here and see some results. Amarola not having a good day at all. Like Jamie McMurray, too. I'm, just, I'm looking at McMurray right now. I just saw how he ran turn three and four. He was running a little bit higher than everyone else. They're getting back up to this... Traffic jam, but it's starting to slowly spread out. Reed Sorensen is screwing over Harvick right now. Happy Harvick is not going to be happy with Reed Sorensen right now. Oh uh, yeah, he's looking at the inside. He's not. He's not giving anything now. Now he's going to screw over Jeff Gordon. Unless Kirk can get around him. No, he couldn't. Of course, he pulled away on the straightaway. Right, he's holding up the field now. Oh, now he's going to go to the outside, and that's just going to hold up the top lane, so rip Jeff Gordon. Well, Kirk just got right around him. So let's get back up here. Kenseth, yeah, look at Kenseth. He's running, he's running the outside. He's, not, he's not really gaining anything from it. So, either his car is messed up, or just going forward with this. Well, the outside at Martinsville doesn't really gain you. It's really when you're side by side that it really does something, but... Now he's going to move back to the bottom. 99 laps to go here. Yeah, 
guess I really I guess it was just a one time thing that ended it. Or maybe he's trying to test it out so he's ready for some lap cars. Now Junior's gonna run, get right behind him again. Side by side. Atlanta Castle is about to go two laps down already. That's scary. Oh, hey, I'm trying to think. He, I'm sorry. Are to we think. gonna go three? We are. Um, over the Something radio, line broke. Says, Something broke in his car. Over the radio. Oh, lead uh, change, Matt Kenseth. Over the radio, they said they're starting to run out of water in the car and starting to lose a little bit of power. So, might got to keep an eye on that. Remember, they did come down pit road earlier because the car was pushing water. Okay, so let's see, he's topping out at one five. So here, Matt. Let's no. Let's look at Carolina. Oh my God, he's ten miles, twenty miles an hour faster than normal. Have you, got any, have you got anything on Landon's radio over there, or? Um, no, I mean, pretty much just what you said there. I have an engine, so that's... Oh, yeah, he is way off the pace. That's a little... That That's not good. He's going to pull an LW right. I'm not even sure why he's on the track, if I'm being honest. And you know what? Michael McDowell did the same thing that he's doing. And but that was a mile and a half. At a short track, if you're this slow, it's okay, but a mile and a half... The speeds are going two, two, seven. That is not safe. We got Kyle Larson here. He's up to forty-first. He's really not getting anything. Oh, Bonnie checked up a lot there. Both of them. Ends up trying to get around here to get himself in front of some of the lap cars as Junior and Edwards continue to be held up. They're not making a move yet. Either it's because Bobby Lani is up to speed or. Come on, board you. I don't know why he isn't attempting to pass. I don't know why either. He's, he's letting Matt Kenseth drive away right now and he's letting his teammate Jimmy Johnson catch oh, up to him. Oh, Johnson! Jimmy, wow. Oh, he moved him. Jimmy tried to move him up out of the group, but he didn't get there. I mean, Junior's just sitting behind the lap car. I'm not sure why he's not. Here he goes. There he goes. Yeah, now he's finally figured out how to go. This gets turned. Yeah, but he's now almost no seconds behind Kenza. Yeah, you wasted a lot of unnecessary time there. Now he's going to try and get around the other Lobani. But as Junior did this, now. Oh, yeah, now he's going to get around him. I'm not sure. He's saving his stuff. I'm not really sure. I don't. Why? Oh, it's not oh, really. Yeah. That's not really necessary. So yeah. up. Yeah, I don't know. So as of now, I think we have a car down pit road. I couldn't tell who that was. That was a pace car. No, it wasn't. Was it? Yeah. It was in the middle of the. Oh, why is the pace car there? Out of all places. Oh. Oh, the guy that dumped. Kyle Larson, Larson right now. Twenty six. Can we get an update on Landon Castle? Or is he still even on the track? He's still on the racetrack. He is. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Oh, he's still going. Oh. Very, he's a second off of his fast lap. Okay, he's getting faster slowly. But not enough. To get up here with Dale and Hart Jr., he gained. A lot in Kansas, but now, same issue. Now, two lap cars in front of him. Jimmy is going to help him. I think just Junior does not have the straightaway speed. Oh, never mind. Oh, this might Johnson's help, John move. help Junior now. Now he has the high side. He should have just went there in the first place on towel if he wasn't going to go to the bottom. What are the last thing so far? No, oh! These guys are battling it out. They should not be doing that. That's letting the, um, the fourth place car of Kyle Bush catch up. And like you said, it's letting Mike Kenneth just drive away. He's got a pretty clear racetrack. And we got Kevin Harvick. Happy Harvick is... I'm listening to the radio. He is happy with his race car right now. Now Junior gets around Michael McDowell. I'm assuming Jonathan isn't too happy with uh, McDowell there. He's he is losing some ground right now. Losing valuable time. Junior almost punted David Reagan right there. They are now three. They lost a second in one lap, but oh. 
we got Landon Cassidy here. No, but Jeff Burton did something Junior should have done and just passed him right there. But Matt Kenseth now. Gets, okay, yeah. Junior just has trouble. There's two lap cars in front of him, but once he gets around one, he's like, oh, I got this. And then he doesn't. You see, Dave Reagan's pulling away from him on the straightaway. That's weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, Kyle Busch, three uh, wide. Oh, this is going to be interesting. He got a long jump this straightaway. Oh, and Larson's sending it in deep. Well, starting to think Larson's car is coming to life. At Martinsville? I know, right? <laughs> but I don't think Bush is going to be relatively too happy getting put three wide there. Yeah, Larson's going to get back on the lap and his car is going to go. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, oh, Pim, you got anything on Bush's radio? Pretty interested to see what happens. What do you said? Um, Kyle Bush has just been saying a little bit about the car. And just saying he doesn't like the traffic, but the car is handling pretty well for him. Oh, Larson. Right. Larson is on a mission right now. He sees second place up there. Carvick is out the third. Do you say Carvick? That's a, that's a John Hunter Neiman truck. And here comes Landon Gussel. Oh boy. Like Landon Hassel. Landon is four laps down, now five. Wait, no, he's four laps down right now. I'm not even sure why the 40 car is still on the track. I mean, I know they're trying all they can, but he is just too far off the pace. There's got to be a, there's a point where you got to. Like and that's Bowman, he's at 30th right now. There's a point where you got to draw the line and. Oh, he's in heavy traffic right now, but he isn't being impatient. He's being patient with these guys. I mean, he's got a 3.8 second lead over Junior right now, and Junior's gonna have to get. Oh, Junior's gonna have to get through the same traffic that he had to get through right there. So I don't you think don't he's not really good at lap traffic. Oh yeah, it's not. Last lap of the race so far goes to Ryan Newman, 19.70. Junior not far behind him. Where is Newman running currently? Oh! Whoa! Man. Johnson! Oh! That was not smart. Oh, we got Kyle. I can't wait for this radio to come out. Kyle is going to be losing his mind over that one. Hey, right, LZ, you have any word on what Kyle Bush just said right there? I don't think we should say it on live there. But oh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, did you see the gesture out the window right there? Uh, no, I didn't want to have it. <laughs> let's just oh, say, let's just say, Bush told Truex that he is number one. Oh! Oh, Castle coming out pit road is going to stack everybody up. Is he finally done? I don't know. Castle saying the battery and volts is dying and the car. I'm not sure what they're doing right now, but. Eleanor Gina getting passed by Harvick for second. That's going to be a mechanical like issue. Yeah, let's, let's okay. Newman is in twentieth, and he has a fast lap right now. That is just. Yeah, I think they're fixing the issue on Castle's car right now. He's still down pit road, so. They are. Oh. I think they're. Oh. Fixing the issue. Is there any word on like Kevin Harvick or Dale Earnhardt Jr. about why he's not getting around these lap cars? Um, no, not that I've heard. And I don't know what he's doing. Morgan Shepard right now in 40th right now. At last, his mean, goes to Lennon Castle. Kyle Larson is two laps down right now. Look at, yeah, it looks like Harvick is doing the same thing like Junior is doing. He's not really... Oh, never mind. Oh, he punted him! Oh! Harvick is not gonna. Oh, is not taking his time with this lap traffic. He is ready to take oh. prisoners. Five seconds between himself and Matt Kenza. He's got a lot of ground. He's got... I think he can. If he can just get around these lap cars as fast as possible, including the really slow ones. Okay, Junior's not really like hunting them. He's kind of sending it in a little deep, though. Go and hit the wall at some point. He's got some damage. Or he hit another driver. Oh, then again, with that much damage, he probably did hit the wall. <laughs> yeah, he's got the white scrapes on it, so he probably hit the wall. Not sure he's when. Ends up right now. He is. Matt Kenseth right is still just about another. Right, the yeah, they back up the issue. Heat. They have, um, I think it was a battery issue. issue. They changed the battery in the car. And yeah, he, now he's stopping at 110. Landon Kessel is 
Milecasters reported the car feels a lot better now, so <laughs> he won't be a roadblock. Surprise! Took him that long to come in. I guess he had to go find oh, a battery. Oh, he's blocking him. Kenseth. Oh, that could have been bad right Look there. Look at him. Wanted to stay on the lead lap there, but Matt Kenseth is not going to allow oh, that. Going up the road as well. I just want to point out Kevin Harvick is not gaining very much on Matt Kenseth. Yeah, I think yeah. Matt Kenseth is the fastest car on the track right now. By a lot too. Because even in traffic, Kenseth is pulling away from Harvick. Yeah, he's behind. Well, I mean, he's behind some of the faster guys. He is, but he still has to get around them, and he is still pulling away from them. Oh, Harvick gained a ton right there. Oh, this wow. group, this but group, this. Harvick, Harvick has traffic to get the same for Matt Kenseth, so wouldn't surprise me to see that gap stabilize for a short while. Well, Big Murray is right now helping Harvick right now because he has two cars on his outside. Now Harvick's on. Poke his nose in there. He's gonna follow Harvick. Jimmy Johnson also is kind of a ball. Let's get some. Okay, Kyle Bush has been dropping like a rock right now. Yeah, Pim, you got any word on what's going on with him? He is falling a lot. Tires are gone in the 18. Tires are gone. I'm a, I'm a, yes. Oh, big shackle. I'm a guess that he just didn't say tires ago. I'm assuming there was a few choice words besides oh, yeah. that. Kyle Busch, of course, I was. He did. Well, <laughs> he just gained a, a second in two laps, so I don't know. Still got a pretty good amount of ways to go, so yeah, this is not. Over. Run him down. We can get a caution at any moment. The way how the whole field is. Let's go to the pit lane view here. Not really pit lane, but just over here. World's here. fastest conveyor belt. Yeah, you can see there's some fans here. The backstretch, you see? Yeah, they're all on the backstretch, but not the front stretch. It's a little interesting. Let's get back up here with Matt Kenson right now. He isn't losing too much time because he's not really, like, fighting his way around these guys. Okay, he gave all got a little tap that. They're going to get him out of the grooves there, make sure he gets around that 51 as soon as possible. Uh, At some point, your spotter's got to be telling you the guy behind is gaining like a second every few laps on you because you're not passing the draft. So how yeah, I'm not sure what the strategy there. is. Yeah, yeah, he gained a second on him there. I honestly think Kenzev might have used up his stuff because he was really pulling away from everybody, and now he's just... Starting to really and lose look time. This, look at this ahead of him. Yeah, but he does have a lot of lap traffic, so I can't tell. You gotta think though, maybe Kenzif honestly is making Harvick push as hard as he can for that way when Harvick gets to him, yeah, he's up and gone. I mean, I don't really I don't know. I mean, as yeah, much as it's going it down, it. it's going up too. So it's like I can't tell if it's someone's car is better or is it just. Oh, crap. Main. Oh, he's known as Mr. Nice Guy. Really did not do a nice thing to park my right there. Yeah, he hasn't been a nice person, I Yeah. I mean, I mean Harvick has to thank Bane for that because Bane getting around Parker is what helped him. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Bane gone straight away there. Harvick's going to get pinched right here unless he gets around him. And the fact is, is big. Like you said earlier, I mean, even some of these lap cars that's just as fast as the leaders, it will be very difficult for the leaders to get around them. Here's the helicopter view. Let's look at Danica Patrick on top 21 run. Not I bad. Sir, that's right. They have team. not been showing their speed here. Kurt Busch is the second best, and he's running 18. I mean, all of them are running 18th, 19th, and 20th right now. So. Be a while Harvick in second, be like. Harvick's just running seconds, but he's losing time. Oh, Casey. We're here with Junior O. Amarola. He's about to lose third year. From Jimmy, his teammate Jimmy Johnson. 
Marcus Ambrose is in seven. It's been a really, really solid run. And not really a solid run for Kyle Busch right now. He is not happy with some blood birds. Well, Pam, we're getting close to making our predictions. So we better start thinking about who really is going to win this race. I mean, at this point, I don't see how you can say anyone yeah. other than that. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Unless there's any five, we'll see. That's what we make. Way wide right there. There's eight seconds back. Oh, oh my god. What? Harvick's slowly getting around. But, anyways, now this lap, we will be making a race. That's Bell. That's a 10th. Oh, That's caution. A caution. Wait, is there a caution? Yes, there is. Wait. Yep, wait. Uh, yeah, Carson is what out. out. What happened? What happened? I don't see oh, any. Oh, Kenton's on the road. But anyways, we're gonna go on this. Wait, Matt Pitt when the pits are closed. Oh, he's gonna get a penalty for it. Oh, Trevor Bain. Oh, Trevor. He yeah, he's slow. Oh, he stopped. What happened? What happened to Bain? I think he just lost power. Now it's like it. Looks like the inside of Allgaier. He goes in there and he just starts slowing down. Stop. On the front strike. That's why everyone was so jammed up. Kim, okay. you got any word on the radio of what happened to the 21? Um, they don't know exactly what happened. They're like, I'm not they sure. They suspect that was a, an electrical issue. I'm not sure. He just went the corner fine. He just slowed down so fast. I'm not sure Kansas what really happened. Kansas Eastside Jr. off the road. <laughs> be, yeah, now Harvick's following him. Junior taking four tires right now. Herbert now getting out. Junior will be following him shortly. Oh, never mind. Oh! He is going to get off in front of Jimmy Johnson. Barely. Barely. But he got him. Trying to find Kansas the Europe. Well, everyone's not fair road. We had a long. Oh. Uh, there's damage. Clint Boyer is stuck. Oh, no. How did Boyer get in that situation? Oh no! Boyer! Oh, oh no! He's stuck! <laughs> Some, is something wrong with Logano? Because he is not leaving in the box. And they are not changing tires. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. No, There's a lot of. Them. He's back out. I'm not sure. It's been a weird day, Pim. It's been a lot of cars randomly losing power, going slower, and we're just stopping on the racetrack. And whatever oh. it is, he was. Bane is back rolling under power, so. I'm not sure what the issue was. Okay, so let's see here. 13 cars on lead lap, so we're going to have a bunch of lap cars on this inside. Oh, we're going green this time. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of castles on them. So, uh, oh, Pim, David what's, Dillon. what's your thoughts on this start? Pim and Jake? Uh, I don't it's, think We're going to have caution. I don't know if we'll have a yellow, but we're going to have some topsy turvy caution here. At least he's doing, he doesn't do what Kyle Larson did. Also, for some reason, the 55 and the 31 are going to be uh, between the 20 and the 4. So. All right, here we go. Green flag is back out of Martinsville. We're going to go to this car angle and see what happens. Kirkus is not going to go in. Oh, my God. Jam up into turn one. Boy, you're back down pit road. That's me, David Dillon. Oh, I know. Oh, he's leaving Pippins right now. All right, looks like they all made it through. Right oh, now, okay, second place right now is Harvick, but he is losing so much time because of what NASCAR did. I don't know why they had Pickers and Newman start up. Maybe they're the free pass card. All right now, Newman's trying to get that, I guess. So let's see here. Yeah, Newman is the last car on lap down. Well, he's the first car left. Kenseth is just driving away. I know. So let's make our predictions. I'm just going to go me, Pam, and then LT. 
the race winner is going to definitely be Mega. Like, he has been perfect this race so far. And it's really like, he, even on, when he's getting on lap traffic, he's still pulling away from Harvick. Harvick does not know how to get around these guys. Second place now goes to Carl Evers, but underdog, I'm going to go with. My underdog, I think, is going to be Tony Stewart because he isn't fast at all, but I think he'll get up there for like a top. And the ones to watch is definitely going to be Terrain because of, he has been a missile this race. Oh, caution! No, caution! Wonder what brought this one out. Oh, major. Oh, 32. Damage. Major, oh. major damage. Oh, because last That's Kowalski. A lead, that's a lead lap car. Who has damage out of this? See oh, here. there was big problems entering the turn. Let's see here. Oh, Gillen just turned him! Oh, he just he dumped just him. him. Oh, and Harry ran straight to the back of him. Well, I should say the ones to watch is definitely David Gillen now. All right, anyways, Pam, now you make your predictions now. All right, well, uh, can you move the to leader, or like the the scoring back up to the top? It's at 11. There we go. Uh, my win, my pick to win the race is going to be Martin Shrex Jr. Um, he won last week on a bit of strategy, and he slowly moved up. I don't even know if he started in the top 10, or if he did. He hasn't really run up there for the race, but he's... Clawed his way to the front, and now he sits inside the top three with... I'm uh, going to restart inside 40 laps to go. I think he wins. Um, my underdog pick um, is I'm going to go with the uh, 11 of Denny Hamlin. Um, I think that they've run a pretty solid race. He's been up to the top ten most of the day. He's always good here at Martinsville. Um, but I think they put things together. Let's see this one. And my one to watch, uh, I would probably say, is uh, that 99. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I'm not doing that. Um, the one I one to watch is the 18 of Kanye Bush. Let's see if he, can, if he slips further back or if he can try to mount a recovery. All right, LT, you there? I think he's dead. LT? If he survives oh. this one, he's a house. Uh, everyone, that's everyone. Just trying to survive David Gill in a turn bait. Oh, Newman just got ran into by her bush. We are... Oh, we're going green this time. Why is Jason. Boyer and Kozlowski Boyer. that way? Why are they in those positions? Why is Edwards they're trying, going wait, they're trying to get right back into the up. inside, but nobody's letting them in. Look. Annika and Kurt are not letting them in. This could get ugly, folks. Oh, we're, they're going to go three wide. No way. There's no way they're going to go green three wide. There's no way. Someone's going to get black flagged for this. Someone's going to get black flagged for this. Sorry for, uh, the abrupt, sorry for the abrupt exit. Someone was selling ice cream cones down there, so I got three. Who um, wants chocolate? Um, I'll think they're going green three wide. Oh no. Yep, right, we're gonna focus on these guys. Green flag! Carl Edwards didn't lose any chance of doing color finishing here. Because he's gonna be three wide on the outside. They see yeah. Cars with, oh yeah, right around him. Can't make it stick, and that means Matt Kansas is gonna have an easy exit here. Hi, right, LT, now make your battle. predictions on like your race winner, underdog, and the one to watch. So, which one have you picked, Matt Kenseth? I did. Well. Carl Edwards, he's gonna come back from this. Mark my words. Pem, Pem, Pem. Yeah, Pem made it. No, Pem made his choice, Parker. So yeah. Oh my! Oh, Jimmy Johnson has been doing that all day, and I'm not sure how he hasn't wrecked somebody. Jimmy's only been See it. nice guy in the field, but he is a monster. All right, okay. I brought everyone an ice cream cone. Which flavor do you guys want? Chocolate. Anyways, okay. So, who, so why did you, did you pick Carl Edwards? Me? Because Carl Edwards, he's goaded. All right, now you're underdog. Uh, not much of an underdog, but Kyle Busch in 10th. He might find some way to come back up here. I really All don't. Right. Where did Kenslowski get his damage from? Uh, uh he got, got run over by David Gillen. Okay. 
Ah. Larry Gillen just took him out, like, drove straight into him, spun him out. All right, now your ones to watch. My one to watch? Yeah. Jimmy Johnson, because he's been sending in on everyone, and he's probably going to cause an X-Bit correct. Or he's going to make it up there. One of those two. Yeah. Oh, we got a call. Wait, oh, gosh. Oh, we lights no. on. Anyways, right now, my guy, Kenseth, is just driving away. Call so everyone except for the guy who ran the fastest. Yeah, Newman is in 13th right now. He will get the free pass. No, the, uh, this rule set doesn't do anything for us. He has to get his lap back. And that's what he's trying to do right now. Oh, Kenseth is three one thousandths of a second off of his fastest lap. Kenseth is hauling the mail right now. I, think, Newman, is, I yeah, think Newman's yeah. running him down a little bit. But Carl Edwards is stuck battling with Danica Patrick. I see him very a lot of times. 19756, 1976. Well, yeah, he's not running him down, but... Danica is screwing over Edwards right now. The certified Danica Patrick moment. Danica just cannot get around him. Oh, 20 laps to go. Wait, 30 laps to go at Barnesville. I think Matt Kenseth might have this in the bag now. Because if Edwards cannot get around him, and... Junior and Trix continue battling. This is just going to allow him to just drive off, but then again, oh. He's going to catch a horde of traffic well before this one's up. But four seconds is quite a big gap, and Danica Patrick is not cutting Carl Edwards any slack. If I were Edwards, I'd just drop back and spin her. Me too. Me too. You got a lap car battling the leader or one of the lead lap cars this hard, taking more than a shot of a win. But he is yeah. not doing that. Kansas pulling like a half a second on Edwards every lap because he can't get to the bottom because Danica Patrick won't get the frick out the way. This is a certified Danica Patrick. <laughs> Call always usually be nice, but Pim, based on his radio, he does not sound happy right now. He's gonna slap her upside the head with a Subway sandwich. <laughs> gonna give her that. Foot long. <laughs> and, and you know what she's gonna be saying? No, no. I don't, <laughs> don't want to guess. Oh, the sponsor for a race car. <laughs> oh. 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 No, that was, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was a great joke. That was a great one. Yeah. No, that was a certified swagger dude. Right, let's get Ford back, back up with Matt Kenseth. Uh, he is not behind Labonte. Oh, here comes Newman. Here's the thing, though. You want to know something interesting? Edwards is actually catching Matt Kenseth because, believe it or not, him being Simon Patrick is about half a second faster than Matt Kenseth going through lap cars. Is the 99 ever going to get around this thing? Seriously. No. I don't think he is. Danica's in 16, so... Like, he's, she's not as fast as him, but she's fast enough to at least... Might be a nuisance. Fast enough to be a nuisance. Oh, Bob Oh, he's moking! Oh, he's moking! Oh, oh, this is why let's you see don't... see if he got ran into... Wait, let's see what happened to... How did Matt Kenseth got around him? Oh. He's oh, he just... He just blew up. Uh. Oh, oh, no, Landon! Oh, yeah, and that just made like Carl that. Edwards... Oh, oh that just oh, put... Oh, he's in three! Oh, never mind. Wow! Oh, but now oh, Truax is gonna you. get... Truax is gonna get stuck behind him, and now he's gonna have to deal with Trevor Brain as well. So, big problems for the 78 car. That sucks for Truex. There goes my pick to win the race. Well, Matt Kenseth has to deal with this. Edwards is only four seconds back, although he still has not gotten around the 10 car. Oh, and it gets a lot faster than Carl on the straightaways. Got to watch that gap this time by 19 laps to go. Oh, they're side by side. 
I, I'd He's say at this point, fast. believe it or not, I'd say at this point, a caution would probably not help Carlos. Oh, yeah, he's he, Newman! Newman's going to get his lap back. Now Newman needs a caution if he wants to make a run in any more positions. But now Kenseth is not only on the out, oh, uh, behind two lap cars, he's also on the outside, and Newman's about to clear him. He does. And look at the gap between... Uh, the top dr drivers, Carl Edwards, is closing in in a hurry, but he has to pass these guys if he wants to have a shot at this. Oh, Danica is going to force Quinn out of the way, for not for a position. Carl is going to follow Danica. Oh, he's oh never fly. mind. He tripped it up a little bit. Here comes Junior. And now here comes Junior, but he can't get around him. But now Edwards is. is not going to have the position to get underneath the 15. But they are closing in a hurry on Matt Kenseth. But now, now Edwards has two cars side by side to him. And look at that gap skyrocketing as he's losing time now because Kenseth is getting around this traffic in a hurry. This time by 15 laps to go from Martinsville. I don't think Carl can get up there. Now he's, he's going to need a caution, but not there is so much traffic everywhere and no one's giving him any extra help look at the 15 hanging on against him oh but Carl is sitting in there he moved her up the hill he is tired of it Carl oh but then you got David Gill and the monster himself oh, he got a runner nope never mind is going to spend it in here? We could have a caution because of this. Why not surprise me? Oh, he's clear for... There's Junior now to the inside. Oh, Carl Edwards just about in the back of the eight. Look at the gap between the leaders. Matt Kenseth is driving away. But once again, more lap traffic in the way. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Look how far back Edwards is. Now they're battling. Yeah, I think that's just going to seal the deal here. That seals the deal. And is trying to bring... Oh, he's way up the racetrack. Now he has to deal with that 10 car. And will someone else blow an engine and give us a caution? What a stop on the racetrack for me. Uh, yeah, if, if Kenzie gets around Morgan Shepard, that just seals the deal. The next lap car is Landon Castle and then Denny Hamlin. I don't think he even has to get by these laps. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's still pulling away. Yeah, with how much traffic the 88 has to deal with, there is no chance that he gets and close to And laps to go for Matt Kenton. And we know how Dale Jr. is about passing laps here. Oh, he's going by by side twenty. He's not had as anything right go anything go his way this season. Right now, he's going to look at the inside of Newman. Uh-oh, you don't poke the bear that is Ryan Newman. We'll see if Newman cuts him some slack here, but payback would not be out of the question. Newman's not happy with Matt Kenseth. Kenseth has a lot more to lose. Oh, he's going to do that to Alex Bowman, too. Kenseth is risking quite a lot here with these maneuvers, but he's making it work. Seven laps to go here, Marco. Not going to say Kenseth has gotten lucky, but these lap cars have really helped him out a ton in his bid for the win. Junior's gotten around a considerable amount of these lap cars. It looks like he might try to get by the 34 here as well, but... Yeah, he didn't get around 34. He's slow behind the traffic. I don't know why, but Junior just doesn't like to pass lap cars. Don't know why. Six Maybe laps. Cars upset because of it. Oh, and here comes Truex down for second. He was my pick to win the race, but maybe at least he'll get second. Five laps to go on Warrensville. Caution comes out now. I believe the race is over, and Matt Kenseth is gonna have to get around and Castle here. But that shouldn't be the last car he has to see till that checkered flag waves. 
And it will be. Drex is up to second. Oh, Austin just punted Junior. Now Johnson's gonna go for third. Martrix Jr. now second after winning at Auto Club. So close yet so far. He's going to clear the traffic, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough. Matt Kenseth is clear traffic as well. If, if Kenseth hadn't gotten around all those lap cars, I'd say there might be a small chance Drex does something, but just because of how much faster you are when you're not in traffic. But Matt Kenseth has clear sailing here with two laps to go this time. This is going to leave Ford out with the only manufacturer with only one win right now. That was with Brad Kozlowski at the Daytona 500. And just leaving Ford for the second to last time. And this time by, you will be seeing the white flag here at Martinsville. Brian Newman trying to finish on the lead lap. Kenza has came in here and he's put on a dominating performance. 100% deserved to win. Especially after what he's been through this season. Dominated from... When, when did he take the lead? It was early, and he has showed no weakness today. Across Kenseth. the start finish line, Matt Kenseth wins here at Martinsville. What a performance by him. Junior finishes fifth. What a performance by Matt Kenseth. He freaking curb stomped the field here. And that's an understatement. See if there's any trouble here. Oh, 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 my God. oh, 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 that is. He only had like two cars DNF, five of the money, and Terry. Oh, the Labonte brothers! You know what? At least he finished one, two, in a way. 40 second, 40 second. Went a 40 first and 40 second. Anyways, he has complete. Mark Matt Kenneth gets the dub. Pole winner Dale and Arjuna gets fifth. He has had he has the most poles this season on a single dub. He showed some muscle. All right. Yeah, look, Calvo with the point standings like this, and a Patrick's inside the top ten. Next up will be Texas Motor Speedway. That is gonna be an interesting one, but. So far, I think Jimmy Johnson will still be your points leader. And see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.